Welcome to the Stella Adler Academy of Acting and Theater in Los Angeles on Hollywood Boulevard. It's in the heart of Hollywood. Uh, there's a lot of craziness in Hollywood. Stars on the sidewalks, you know, movie star names, uh, traffic, tourists from all over the world. It's crazy out there. And then I like to say that when you come through the doors of Stella Adler uh, off of Hollywood Boulevard, you're entering an, an oasis, a home. I always say this place is a creative home. It's a place where you are come, you come to be safe from the pressures of the industry and the craziness of Hollywood to create. Whenever I talk about the school, which is named in honor of Stella Adler, of course you have to talk about Stella. Stella is the only American, uh, I know for sure, and some say the only person in the English-speaking world who ever studied directly with Konstantin Stanislavski, who is considered far and wide the father of modern acting. She created a technique that is based on the imagination. Uh, here at this school, we use that technique. It's a, it's a, a very unlimiting technique. You are not putting into this typical type of literature called the play form, the modern play form. You are not allowed to push it. It is a skeleton, and you have to discover where the bones go. It has no bones, it has no flesh. You have to take it upon yourself to say, this skeleton needs me. We as human beings have passions every day of our lives. We speak very passionately about loved ones or opinions, be it about religion or politics or uh, just the person, the way they dress. We have passion in every minute of our lives, so a character must have that too. About six years ago, I started to have a sense that what we need in Los Angeles is uh, this kind of work in Spanish. And because also in this country, the United States, the, La the Latino market is growing. It was a need that had to be fulfilled that was being ignored. Porque no hemos construido cosas nuevas. Pero veo que esto no le interviene en absoluto. Lo único que necesitamos saber es si es un sí o si es un no. Si es un no, no tiene que volver nunca más por aquí. Elia was immediately, it was clear that this person had what it takes. Entonces, este, estamos de acuerdo con que es todo eso. Hace falta penetrar en los sentimientos del personaje y hace falta vivir el papel y no simplemente reproducir unos sentimientos que son falsos. She demands that you justify every single line. That's not true. That's not real. Tu personaje, Trigorín, tiene esa circunstancia. ¿Cómo reaccionas en esas circunstancias cuando tú te pones en los zapatos de él? No eres tú el que reacciona. No me interesa verte a ti. Me interesa verte a ti en los zapatos de Trigorín y cómo reaccionas a esa circunstancia. Parece que nos marchamos. Stop ahí. Tú quieres que ella se entere de lo que tú sientes. ¿Qué es lo que tú tapas ahí? And to tell you the truth, this is not an exaggeration. Elia Schneider, uh, when you sit and speak to her just about wor the work, it's inspiring. What she reminds me of is Stella Adler. I got to study with Stella later in Stella's life, and she was much older than Elia is now. But they remind me of each other so much. Elia's passion and don't waste time, don't waste the time. Do all of that work I had spoken about that we do in the school that Stella advocated in order to get you to character in a truthful way through your imagination is exactly what Ellie is about. Porque no puede ser que una persona se meta esto para hacer una carrera. O sea, esto va mucho más allá, tiene una responsabilidad mucho mayor. Tú eres la extensión de lo que tú haces. If you show up to class without having done the work, she won't let you off the hook. You'll have to go home and do the work. And it can sting. 
but, but by the end of it, you're so grateful that someone cared enough to demand that you learn this. You will come out of the other side changed, not changed in, a, in an odd way, changed in a way that you have great confidence in knowing, I can handle this, I know what I'm doing.